Hi, I'm Justin Stallard, a partner with RSM. National Manufacturing Day is officially October 2nd, but at RSM, we're celebrating these innovative companies the entire week. Today is especially exciting for me as we recognize Henny Penny Corporation, a longtime RSM client. I've personally had the privilege of working with Henny Penny for almost 15 years, and I've witnessed firsthand their one of a kind culture and world class technologies. When people talk about manufacturing transformation, Henny Penny exemplifies that through their cutting edge facilities. And they're not done innovating yet. Through this virtual tour, you'll get a sneak peek at the largest expansion in Henny Penny's 62 year history. With all that's happened over the past six or seven months, it's critically important for manufacturers to continue to invest in advanced technologies and move their business forward. Henny Penny has done just that, and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about on the tour. I want to thank Steve Maggard and Ryan Cutter at Henny Penny Corporation for partnering on this journey, and I hope you enjoy the tour. Thank you. Hi, I'm Eric Green. Welcome to Henny Penny. I'm going to be taking you on a tour today and showing you what's made Henny Penny a huge success for the now almost 63 years in business. This company was founded uh, with Chester Wagner and his family and a few other men along the way. Jack Cobb was our fourth Henny Penny employee. I like to refer to this as the house that Jack built. Him and his son Steve has launched us into where Henny Penny is today and you'll see that throughout our route is what's made Henny Penny the success that it is through our global uh, progress, through our, our partners in the, in the food service industry, Henny Penny is a trusted and true provider for them for years to come. Uh, with that said, Henny Penny in 2015, we became employee owned. Jack and his son Steve, uh, through a family owned uh, company, switched it over and gave the company to the employees, which is a phenomenal thing and a lot of excitement around that. Uh, we'll highlight that along our route. You'll also be seeing some aspects of what manufacturing is, how things were in the past, and where we've grown through innovation and where the company will be in the future. Okay, so here we are as a peek inside of our engineering lab. Uh, through our engineering lab, they do life cycle testing and many other aspects when it comes to the engineering through R&D. Uh, we have two food scientists on staff here uh, working uh, some of our customers' needs and demands to try to help figure out the solutions uh, for their businesses at future state. Uh, we're excited that here in the future coming up, we'll have a new engineering lab and wing uh, that'll be in our new expansion taking place at this uh, current state and Henny Penny's future. Okay, we're going to get ready to segue into our manufacturing portion of our tour route. Before we go on to that, I'd like to showcase some highlights of Henny Penny and what it means working at this company. So I've been here roughly 22 years, uh, almost 63 years in business this company has been around by no accident. Uh, their time and commitment to the community, uh, you'll see in some other areas that I'll highlight. Henny Penny has prided itself on never having manufacturing layoff, um, and with that time, the average tenure here is 15 years. Uh, Henny Penny, uh, when you come here, is typically a job for life. Just this past year, we had 10 employees celebrated 40 plus years with our company, which is a lot to celebrate about. These are some areas that you'll be noticing in our focus, uh, material and fabrication. So we do our own laser and um, uh, turret press uh, punching here in our manufacturing area. We do our own design and build throughout this process. So our um, programming is done upstairs. We do our own data plates in-house as well. Uh, we also do our own electronic assembly boards. Um, once it goes through manufacturing fabrication, we'll go to the production line. We have quality assurance in-house. Then it goes on to testing. And then our parts tower and shipping is involved in this process. We have a warehouse and shipment across the street in our Eaton building. And then we don't just stop there. We have technical service and support with after sales involved in that. Henny Penny is a full service provider when it comes to working with our customers, not only through the sales of the products that we are making through them, but through technical support. And after sales, we do our own training in-house as well. This is something that sets us apart from a lot of our competitors. So here we are. This is our punch cell for the Henny Penny Corporation here. We have a 10-ton crane overhead. Uh, this is where all of the steel comes in and starts from the beginning process of Henny Penny. It starts off through programming, which is done behind me upstairs. It's then sent down to our machines in the background, which is an FMS stamping or punch machine. With that, we also have a fiber optic laser 
and four other lasers in here that has different speed capacities. Our newest piece of technology is our fiber optic laser, which is a one uh, step operation. So it goes through, cuts the process of the steel, uh, then goes down through a conveyor. Uh, it is then uh, either secondary operation punched out. When it comes off that laser, it is a finished piece ready to be fabricated from that point, and you'll see throughout the process. A lot of opportunities in this department, uh, a lot of technology and automation through that. So it's a, it's a very skilled job when you come in to work in the punch cell here at Henny Penny. Uh, through that process, there's other lasers. So just in, in mind, as far as efficiency and speeds, our fiber optic laser, which was put in two years ago, cuts at 1,500 inches a minute at 3 thousandths of an inch accuracy. Our older lasers cut it between 500 and 750 inches a minute. So that's literally laser fast when it cuts the cutting apart out uh, through that process. This is one of our newest pieces of technology we brought in at the very end of last year is a robotic press brake. We have many press brakes of different size and capacity throughout our company. 90 tons is, is one of our average size up to 135 ton. This here is a 67 ton automated press brake with a robot on it. So basically what this does, it enhances our capability with more consistency to help uh, uh, be able to put the product out uh, on average at faster, uh, more even pace than maybe what an operator would over time. So this one basically doesn't have to stop and take breaks uh, for tool changes and setup. This is where you gain efficiency with this robot. Uh, with that said, it comes in on a four station area. It then picks it up with a robot and then after it gets bent through the process, it then goes off a conveyor on the side and then stacks on the edge. Uh, it has an automatic tool changer in it, so the robot, once it's done bending, it then goes over to the side and has its own preset tool and die that the robot sets up itself. This is another piece of technology that we have here for automation. We have two robotic welders here at the company, and we also have a seam welder here uh, that can, has the ca capability of welding uh, pans for us here at our company. Uh, with this, uh, there's three stations on each robotic welder. Uh, so a, basically an operator or a welder would then come over here and he can be loading in the process while the machine is doing the work. So a lot more efficient, a lot more efficient and speeds up the process as we go along. Okay, now we're in our quality department and in quality here at Henny Penny, the days we're used to have a quality inspector at the end of every assembly line, we're long past that as far as how technology have went and the expectations of trying to deliver that stellar product that will be reliable and last for a long time for our customers. That's why we're Henny Penny and we're engineered to last. So with that aspect, we've got three engineers uh, dedicated in quality. One works on uh, internal quality, working with our um, team leaders on our assembly lines and manufacturing through press and welding. Uh, another engineer works with uh, outside vendors, suppliers. So as we take a new vendor on uh, with something that we wouldn't produce internally at Henny Penny, they look on that uh, as far as so many uh, products coming in and out daily. Uh, they do a 100% check on each piece that comes in. Um, and then uh, that scales down as time goes on that they meet the expectations that our company is, is purchasing on that product. We also have another engineer dedicated to after sales. So we do a, uh, a rigorous data tracking system to try to help uh, get trends for next generation of fryers and products that we're building uh, to see if we need to make any changes to the process uh, through that. In this, uh, there's a lot of technology and quality these days. We have a CNM machine. Um, we have a ferro arm machine, um, and then we have a uh, optical comparator uh, off to the side there. Uh, with those types of machinery, Boeing, uh, General Motors, a lot of your big manufacturing organizations utilize this type of technology through their process. So a lot of opportunities in quality. One thing I always point out in quality here at Henny Penny, they are dedicated uh, quality uh, inspectors here in the company through our engineering. Uh, they don't do other aspects throughout our organization. They are dedicated to just quality here. A lot of organizations have them doing multitask. So it is a big investment, but it helps our, our uh, customers in the end. Okay, so we're getting ready into our electronics assembly room. We're all suited up. This is a static free room. Uh, hence, this is our outfits that we've got on with the static free uh, socks or shoes that we're putting on here and then our uh, smocks that we've got as we go into this room. Uh, one thing cool here at Henny Penny, we also do our electronic boards in-house. A lot of other manufacturers do not do that. 
um, and I'll show you through the process of what we do here at Henny Penny making our electronic assembly board. So here at Henny Penny we do a lot of things in-house. We have our own design engineering uh, that is dedicated to this team uh, that helps get these boards to market. Uh, we have a pick and place machine here, actually several of them as it goes down through the line. They can run two panels down through here. It puts the uh, solder paste on the uh, stenciling. Uh, that runs through a wave solder machine as it gets to the end. And then it goes through a wash station. Once it gets back through the wash station, um, hence before it gets to this point, all the software and technology is loaded on that board as it gets through the process. Um, and then at the tail end, it goes through an informal coating machine. Uh, through that process, the component pieces are then installed once the wave solder is put on as it goes down through the boards. Um, with that, uh, they have quality in place that they are checking each board as it goes through here through the software. Uh, in that process, uh, a serial number is then installed on the panel board so that way if there is ever an issue in the field, we can go back and tell per batch or where that board came from through the process. Okay, this is the start of our Evolution Elite gas assembly line. Uh, a lot of opportunities here at our company between different job aspects for careers that you may choose if you would come to Henny Penny. One, you start off in fabrication before you get to the assembly process through a press break. Uh, there's also utility jobs, so you do stud welding, clinch studding, uh, running a spot welder. Uh, you also have polishing, so we don't always, when they're done with welding something here, we refine that process and make it look very pristine, so a polisher is a very uh, prestigious job here at this company. Uh, with that said, after it goes through sub-assemblies and our fab cell, then it comes to our assembly line here. So you will learn multiple stations, you build your career path by the station you would come into, and then your most experienced on the line is your boxer and your tester because they're catching everything as it comes down the line for training aspects. So a lot of opportunities in assembly here at Henny Penny. It literally rolls down the line. So it comes in on the fryer uh, and the frame. There's welding that does that across the street. It then lifts up on a lift station. They put the first part of the assembly through the process and then literally rolls down the line. So here at Henny Penny, we have many different units that we uh, manufacture. This is our founding piece of equipment, which was our forehead pressure fryer. Many of you may ask what a pressure fryer is, and most of you, if you ever went through KFC, uh, one of our biggest customers, uh, this is one of their pieces of equipment they use. It holds forehead of chicken in there as far as the capacity, so we call it that as our forehead pressure fryer. Uh, with that said, we also service many different food customers out there in the industry, whether it be Chick-fil-A, McDonald's, um, Wendy's, just to name a few. Um, if you've ever been to an Applebee's, or a Walmart, a Meyer. Uh, we also have equipment in those places as well. Uh, the list goes on and on and on as far as all the people that we service in the food uh, equipment industry. We also have uh, rotisseries, um, merchandise units for display cases for grocery stores, warming cabinets, not only uh, bun warmers, uh, other different food service um, pieces that you would find in the kitchen uh, industrial wise. We make all that here at Henny Penny, not just a pressure fryer. Okay, this is another opportunity here at Henny Penny that you may uh, find uh, a job that may fit you. This is our wiring department. We do all of our own wiring harnesses in-house. They cut, crimp, and make their own wiring connections internally right here at Henny Penny. So these ladies and gentlemen in this department here, responsible for putting out roughly 864 miles of wire a year, uh, which is a ridiculous amount of wire, but it all happens right here at Henny Penny in this wiring department. So here at Henny Penny, this is another opportunity that you could come into working in our parts uh, area. Our parts area, we have a tower in place now that basically has up to 2,500 different SKUs in the tower to pick uh, and pull for shipment. Uh, Amazon has kind of raised the bar, so Henny Penny has kind of stepped up as well as meeting the customer's demands on a day-in, day-out basis. Uh, we're able to keep things in a ready ship capacity out of the tower, uh, so to speak. So right now we currently have around 1,800 SKUs in there and just keeps growing. So this here through the automated process has just kind of trickled into every avenue of the business here at Henny Penny. Okay, we're here in the Wagner Training Center, and this is one of our nicest additions here in the company as far as what it did for our customers. Uh, this is called our Cyber Cafe. In this Cyber Cafe, they can do all their trainings online or here at the company as well. Uh, this works with our distributor network, 
uh, some of our technicians in the field or just working with customers in general and operating the new equipment in their stores. So a nice feature to be able to offer our customers for that full service range in our business. We have a training uh, and test kitchen and everything here in the back as well, along with a gathering and meeting area out in the front lobby uh, to host for on-site trainings or what have you. Uh, in this area here as well, we also offer Henny Penny University, and that's something I'll talk about here in a minute, what we offer all of our employees here at the company. And here we are in our uh, Whispering Oak Auditorium, uh, named after Henny Penny's uh, founding uh, restaurant. Uh, in here in the auditorium seats 90 uh, seating capacity here at Henny Penny. This houses our Henny Penny University. Henny Penny has partnered with LinkedIn Learning to offer roughly 13,000 online courses to help further our continuing education here at the company. Uh, this place here has a lot of opportunities and has been my home for the last 22 years. A lot of opportunities yet to come for many of us in the area. Thanks for coming in for our manufacturing tour. Let's talk about our exciting expansion that is happening across the street. Hi, I'm Bart Benedict, Vice President of Engineering here at Henny Penny. We're really excited about this new expansion and this new research and development space. It's 80,000 square feet for our technical teams to take on the biggest challenges in our industry and meet our customers' needs. We're going to have great collaboration spaces for our projects. We're going to have specific spaces for our hardware and software electrical engineers. We'll have a full model shop for our engineers to come up and build up their prototypes and test them out in brand new labs that have 300, 300 feet of hood space to test fryers and holding cabinets and all the other equipment that we'll be making. On top of that, we've got a, a new uh, food science kitchen for our food science folks to meet with our customers, understand what they need, and be able then to turn that into a product that they can use. Employee owners play a huge role here. It doesn't matter if you're cooking food or if you're um, making the fryer. Our customers know we're the best. That's, that's awesome. I work for the best fryer company in the, in the universe. Not being publicly owned, you can tell that there's this true um, caring for the people that work here, but you don't see everywhere else. I play a tangible role in the company's success, uh, and our fellow owners and coworkers and team members, when we combine forces and we can do great things, we all get the benefit. I am proud to be an employee owner. Hello, I'm Steve Maggard, president of Henny Penny. I want to thank you today for taking the virtual tour of our company. We hope you'll give strong consideration to us as an employer of choice. We're very excited about our future. As you can see, we're investing in our facilities and our people. We're an employee-owned company where you can make a difference. And we just hope you'll give us serious consideration as you think about your career and what your future is. Thank you so much.